selfless. Charitable. Giving. Caring. Encouraging. Gracious. Modest. Leader. Mensch. Benefactor. Humble. Loyal. Genuine. Role model. Agile. Eccentric. Fun. Witty. Man of character. Entrepreneur, philanthropist, extraordinaire. A brilliant entrepreneur and my friend. This must leave it for you. The cadet's alarm clock. The boom of the morning gun. Early to rise, the clock says 6.40, and the bugle says I can't get him up. I can't get him up at all. But it does. The mechanically minded may select the field artillery with its dual appeal of horse and mechanism. What really bothered them down on Michigan Avenue was that Joe Levy called the home of his look-alike fiberglass lions the Car Institute. Levy thinks his cars are works of art, but he's stopped using the name anyway. We haven't had one person come in and ask to see a Georgia Keefe uh, painting here, and uh, I hope they're not getting people looking for Toyotas at the Art Institute. Joe was really the one that was up pioneer and probably the strongest influence on the beginning of an entrepreneurship program at Kellogg. He kept telling me over and over again that there has to be an entrepreneurship program. I thought he was right, but to have a really great program, you needed to have a faculty member, and I didn't know which faculty member would be appropriate. And very frankly, Joe came up with a fabulous faculty member, but I didn't think we'd be able to talk him into to doing it and Joe talked him into it. It was uh, more common. And then Joe Levy also has been just an absolute special friend to Kellogg. The first chair in entrepreneurship was given by Joe Levy. So we have the Joe and Carol Levy chair in entrepreneurship. We have the Jacobs Center here. That naming uh, came about uh, in recognition and in honor of our great dean, Don Jacobs, uh, because of Joe Levy. Joe was the benefactor uh, for the naming of the Jacobs Center here at Kellogg. The Joe and Carol atrium and that's where our students eat their lunches and eat their meals throughout the day. Joe was the benefactor for uh, that facility. And quite frankly, Joe is the largest benefactor in Kellogg's history. But apart from money, I mean, he contributed his own enthusiasm to people. He would meet with small groups of students and tell them, look, if you have a dream, go for it. Joe is a, is a many-sided individual. When you get to know Joe, there are so many things that he represents. His interest in people, his desire to help people. He's a very broad gauge person. I mean, people just don't realize the depth of his sense of humor, the fact that he's written plays, uh, the, the fact that he's a, a collector of uh, all sorts of memorabilia. There are so many facets to this man, and there are so many things you can learn from him. You need to move. Um, it's not enough to dream. You sometimes have to take your foot off the bag and go do something. Take your foot off the bag. Take your foot off the bag. Take your foot off the bag. Joe is certainly most willing to, uh, you know, give you um, the push you need, and I, it's, it's the best possible thing. I've met a lot of givers in my, uh, in my life. Uh, Joe's at the top of the list. He has the ability to reach out, help people, connect people, and touch people in the business world uh, in, in a way that I, I really haven't seen anybody else do so. You know, Joe loves to bring people together. I remember one day Joe called me and says, I'm bringing some guys over, I'll see you in a couple of hours. I said, who are you bringing? He says, you'll see, I'm bringing a couple of guys over. And he shows up with my office with the chairman of the Tribune companies, 
and the head of purchasing of computer equipment for the Tribune companies, and they become our largest account that we have. Joe loves to put people together. More than anything else, Joe's a mentor. He's not a mentor only within the context of his Saturday morning group and uh, people around him, but he was also a real mentor to his employees. And he, he had an extraordinarily loyal and supportive group of employees. It was a family, more than anything. It ain't too many people that have a working relationship for 43 years, 44 years. That was the greatest gift in the world to me. When you're young, you're starting a family, there's a lot of things going through your head. You wonder, how am I going to support my family? How am I going to do this? But I've never regretted not one day working for him. My family had a good life. I educated my kids through my job, and it was wonderful. I think Joe has heavily impacted individual people. Um, you know, from tycoons like Pat Ryan down to little guys like me who are trying to start a business. And Joe sees no difference in those two. He focuses on what's important. And it's not what's important to him, it's what's important to the people that he works with. He has a real thing for people. To me, that's what life's about is people. And, um, and, uh, and I think at the core of Joe, there's some thing about changing the way we do things now. If things were so great, then why, you know, we should just stop right now. And Joe, you know, I don't know how old Joe is, but he doesn't seem to stop. Constant movement, constant thinking, constant tinkering. He wants to do things for people, and he's so concerned about everybody. And uh, they do want to be with him. And it's something he treasures a lot that's very important to him. He's always buying things for everybody. And we're always sending things, and uh, I'm always running to the post office to mail things. He just, he loves to do that. It's something that, uh, it's always been part of him. He opens the relationship with you, giving you something, which is a demonstration of how he wants to have the relationship continue. He's the giver. He's not the taker. And I think that illustrates what so many people love about Joe. He's very embarrassed when you give him something. I think he's more of a giving person than a taker. If you give him something that fits in his collection, it's okay. It has to fit into the collection. His, his uh, office is, is like a little museum, you know, with all the, all the tinklets, the gifts, and things he collects, and the photographs, and uh, it's just, uh, it's, uh, that's uh, a weekly routine, and there you go. Uh, the Saturday morning after the entrepreneurs uh, meet, you walk around and, you know, because every time you go, you see something new, you know, capture some, something you may have missed the last time. So it's, it's, it's just, uh, again, it's a whole reflection of uh, the universal person that he is. You know. See things from all parts of the world, you know. You should call it hodgepodge hodge, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Joe, 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 I can't say enough uh, uh, about you, Joe. I can only say that um, I have a great love for you, and I think you know that. He embraces you with his whole, whole heart. Uh, there are no barriers, uh, no inhibitions, there's no show about uh, Joe. I believe that Joe is, uh, is, is really the quintessential friend. Thank you for the support and encouragement that has been so helpful to us. Thanks for telling us the truth and giving us a, a push when we needed it. Joe, you um, allow some of us who are out there in the entrepreneurial world uh, uh, an opportunity, a platform to really try and better ourselves and better our organizations. And uh, we can't thank you enough. I mean, it really makes a huge difference in our lives and in our businesses. So greatly appreciate it, wish you only the best, and uh, good health for a long time. Joe, congratulations uh, on this wonderful honor. You are the entrepreneur of all entrepreneurs, and not only are you an entrepreneur, but you are also somebody that cares deeply for people, and you have made a difference in more people's lives than you realize that you have.